I've been reported to the FBI uh, by none other than Ryan Kavanaugh. You know, most people are spending time with their family. Ryan Kavanaugh is shitposting and tagging the fucking FBI and urging people to uh, send tips about me being a meanie to the FBI. Now, is being a meanie a federal crime? I, that's where he was mistaken. I believe it's only a state crime. Oh, so the F, that's not yeah. even in the FBI's yeah. jurisdiction. He would want to report that to the uh, uh, attorneys, attorney general, attorney general, attorney general of California. California. Yeah, that would be the proper channel. This is the first time for me to be. <laughs> actually, it's the third time. Actually, oh, right. Uh, well, he says it's yeah. the first time. He says it's the first time. Oh, right, right, right. That's true. He does say it's the first time. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Ryan Kavanaugh says, at H3 Podcast, of course, he blocked me, so I'm assuming he just... He says, he's inciting violence. Again, bro, you gotta stop saying that. You gotta stop saying I'm inciting violence. It's violence to say that he looks like Harvey Weinstein. That's violence. That's defamatory. That's, that's violence. Defamatory. He can say it's defamatory. It's not. But saying I'm inciting violence. No, that's defamatory on his part. Oh, absolutely it? it is. Hmm. Absolutely it is. I mean, what? Uh, well, anyway, he goes, Ethan, HP Podcast is inciting violence, hate, and threats. Me and almost anyone I know getting the same threats and hate. Hash, and then, of course, he tags uh, Instagram, at YouTube, at Twitter, as he, uh, the head of a media company, knows that's the best way to get the attention of huge media companies is to tag their main at. Also, he tagged Reddit. So I'm sure those are going straight to the top of the food chain. Absolutely. He says, please act before this causes more harm. And he links this video and he says, file complaints here, fbi.gov slash tips. I'm sure they have their top men on that by now. Well, as you found out when they raided you this morning, kicked in your door. Yeah, they came. They said there was an. It was one of those eight a.m. knocks, and they go, they go, hey, open up, FBI. We have, we have reports that someone in here is being a meanie. Come out with your hands up. There was helicopters overhead. They blocked off the whole street. There was basically twenty police cars, fully armored, SWAT teams everywhere. It was traumatic. This is live footage from your, uh... It was... This is exactly what happened this morning. This is exactly what happened. That, that is basically the best characterization of what's happened at my house this morning. So you can see there's been a lot happening. Ela's not here today because, uh... She's being detained by she's the being FBI. She's yeah. being questioned. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... I'm out on bail, ten million dollar bail. I uh, I sold Gabe, everything. Gabe put up the money. Actually, he helped out. I uh, yeah. Gabe, Gabe's had a crazy year on Cameo, so he was able to uh, yeah. give me a bail bond. Yep. What a king. That was some serious shit. And um, I'm out on bail, but I'm facing you know thirty to life on this meanie charge. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Speaking of Gabe, apparently he's finally got that White Claw sponsorship that gave him his own flavor. Gingerbread? Yeah. Wait, is that a real flavor? Yeah. Yeah, they just launched it. Is this a real flavor? I, I hope no. Because that would be disgusting. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, why, you know. Okay, Gabe is crushing it, bro. That's a pretty cool promo. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, do you believe this guy, Ryan? I mean, are you fucking serious? Can you imagine the FBI, like, all the shit they have to deal with th these days, you know, and now they've got Ryan Kavanaugh telling people to fill out tips. Mm -hmm. what, what do you suppose you wrote in that tip field? D hit me with that sad Keemstar music. Dear FBI, my name is Ryan Kavanaugh. There it is. Before I 
utterly bankrupted Relativity Media. I was just a good old boy who started a hedge fund with my daddy's money that he got by selling fake Picassos. Allegedly. <laughs> uh, allegedly with peace and love. Just my opinion based on that article. It's also just a joke. I'm just a comedian. I'm not a news organization. And he goes, well, I'm just a good old boy. I'm just a, I'm the underdog CEO, or I'm the majority owner of a huge media company. Underdog, Ryan Kavanaugh. And he said I looked like Harvey Weinstein. This has to be a federal offense. He even wrote in the field, he wrote, if you go to Google and type Ryan Kavanaugh in the search field, and you scroll down, FBI, if you're listening, and click. Holy shit. It's pretty high up there. His website's gone, love. Oh, no, it's down here. We're ranking above his website. Wow, that's, number that's, three. That's It's very that, unusual for it to jump down that much. That's credibility. Yeah. Click in the mouse and Papa's, Papa's in the in house. The house. Um, so he goes, dear FBI, do you really think I look that much like Harvey Weinstein? And then the FBI agent comes to this website. He scrolls down, and he go, and then he comes to this, and he says, "Hmm, I do see the resemblance, but this is a federal crime." Crime. <laughs> do you see it? And the FBI agent goes, "Hmm, look at the resemblance. That is uncanny." Then the FBI agent scrolls down, and he starts to read and look, and he plays the game at the bottom. Spends some time on the website. And he says, this Ethan kid, he's a menace to society. We've got to lock him up. No bail and throw away the key. Ethan Klein is, is damaging everything, making it all worse. That, I believe, is from the FBI director, a direct quote. That's right. The fucking FBI. You believe this guy? <laughs> I mean, like, really, let's take this in. He is telling people to file a tip on FBI.gov about me. Have we reached fully unhinged yet, or is there more ways, is there further to go? Yeah, it, uh, it's, it's hard to say. <clears throat> I've long said that the quartering is like the platonic uh, ideal of an oaf, but this tweet, I don't the know. Fucking he, he may have superseded uh, Jeremy. This is pure. This is top oaf. This is top tier oafishness. It's there. all dumb. Yeah, so we need to free Ela from the FBI. She's currently. They heard Ela said, um, "What did Ela? Ela said something like, uh, she's like, I don't like Ryan Kavanaugh.' I think on the last pot, on the last After Dark, and they they got her now. Fuck. The FBI got her." Put her away for life. She slipped up. I don't like it. So thoughts and prayers to Ela for that. We have a beautiful moment in this week's behind the scenes where Ethan reads that tweet for the first time because he tweeted it while we were live, and so we were waiting till after the episode to show Ethan. And oh yeah, we were doing special. the Cracker episode, and then mm -hmm. you guys were like, uh, "The new craziest Kavanaugh tweet just dropped." I was like, "What?" Um, and I read it live. I was shocked. You know. Oh, and then here's the craziest part, you guys. This motherfucker been promote. He's been paying to promote this shit. He's been paying to promote his telling people to. T this guy, we looked at. Uh, this guy doesn't know anything about anyone. He says, "So I don't know who this Ryan guy is. Neither do I know what the H3 podcast is, nor who this woman crying is. But this guy promo. This is a promoted, <laughs> and the person has replies turned off. Are are they paying to promote YouTuber drama? <laughs> <clears throat> like the fact that he's paying to promote it, it's even just confusing. Like I mean." To anyone who's not familiar, which yeah, I guess. just stumbles across that. But we actually found uh, it with the promoted tab, right? We found it at oh, long yeah, last. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you find it? Because we were looking for that. Uh, actually, a viewer sent it in. I asked that person who made that oh, yeah, tweet. Yeah, they're promoted. Awesome. Yeah. 
amazing. What's funny is that, you know, we've deleted everything, but Ryan's promoted Twitter video lives on. <laughs> we've been covering a lot of really cool Kavanaugh tweets. This one's awesome. Oh, what did he tweet? Wow, what the fuck? Why is this? Why is he posting like spam, this one, copy pasta shit? This I haven't read not this. Even, it might be too spicy for YouTube. To tell yeah, the truth. his it's, responses. It's pretty insane. Yeah, it's basically like mega Islamophobia. Yeah, it's just like a hardcore like anti-Islam rant. I didn't see the top part, but you can tell it's um, you can tell it's credible based on the wild. Fluctuation of fonts, the <laughs> yeah, wild bolding. boldness. <laughs> it's basically a QAnon post here. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, there's parts of this that if you read out loud, we'd probably get uh, okay. stung for. His reply to it is pretty epic. I'm bottom. He says there are 200 million plus extreme Muslims, and there are 12 total Jews. Yep. Just 12. Just 12. So you mean 12 million? He probably means 12 million, because that is a true number. He was sauced up when he was Yeah, he, this, yeah so. as usual. <laughs> That's speculation, by the way. <laughs> he got, I love that. There's 200 million, isn't there, there's 200 million Muslims and only 12 Jews. The odds are stacked against us, people. And he keeps calling you racist. It's like, this dude has, like, all these anti-Black Lives Matter tweets. He hates Muslims. It's crazy. <sighs> Yeah. And funnily enough, he doesn't know how to erase tweets, so they're still up there. <laughs> I, I know. It's very strange. <laughs> He's an odd man. A very odd man. Well, it's hard. When you're drunk, it's hard to do fine uh, motor skills, like hitting the delete button. On. Oh, maybe the three little dots? Yeah, he, that's tough. Some say he's still there. Yeah. Oh, God, I got to get rid of sip, this. He oh. takes a sip. Oh. He clip, he's, oh, man. Uh, oh, he just God. passes out, tries the next day. <laughs> The problem is, as soon as he wakes up, he takes another drink, and then it's a vicious cycle. Drinking semen is a good idea. <laughs> as a percent, there are as many violent Nazis as there are violent Muslims. What does that mean? As a, as a percent? He's a great thinker, though. Wait. Mm -hmm. So he's saying there's 200 million extreme Muslims. Mm -hmm. And, and 12 I, I Jews. think that there's about a billion... Muslims in the world, and so he's saying... Oh, one out of but hold every on. So he's, five. So he's saying one out of every five Nazis are violent. As a percent as many wow. Nazis. Ooh. Which is a very... You like that, Ryan. Very strange... Wait, is he defending Nazis? Well, only the non-violent ones. <laughs> only the four out of five that aren't violent. <laughs> Fucking own his ass, Dan. So he's saying... He's basically like, saying... What is he trying to say All Muslims... <laughs> all Muslims are Nazis. Basically, no, he's saying 200 million of them are like violent Nazis, which are the bad Nazis. As a percent, as many violent Nazis <laughs> as violent Muslims. That's, that's why my family calls Dan Habib Dan. <laughs> What's Habib? Habib means sweetheart. Oh, you're a Habibi. A Habibi that's or a Habib? I could say both. Habibi. Habib, Habib, Habib. Shout out to Habib's fan. Can I be Habibi? Shout out to Habib's fan. Habibi. Habibi. I want to be Habibi. I want to be Habibi. You'll get there. What? I'm not there yet. You're Habiba to me. Habiba. 